Hi, everyone. In this video, we're going to be covering application management using Handshake. So we are under the jobs tab in a Handshake core account. A couple things that you're able to see at first glance. Number one, on the top, there's the ability to see active jobs. So these would be jobs that are currently active and have not yet expired, expired jobs, or all jobs. I can also view this by individual schools or by the job itself. Now, there's a couple things at first glance that you're going to be able to see. Number one is the job name. Number two is the number of applications, the number of schools that the job has been posted to, the date the job was created, the type of job it is, whether that's a job or an internship, and then the status of the schools uh, that it's been requested at. You can see for this cloud software engineer role, it is pending at four schools, it's been approved at 281 schools, and it's expired at two schools. You can see for this job, it has been declined by one school. So that's what the different colors under the status mean. Now, core employers do have the ability to track applications as well as review those applications directly within Handshake. Many employers choose to send students or applicants to their applicant tracking system, their ATS. However, Handshake does have the ability for you to collect applications directly within Handshake. So a couple things that you'll be able to see at first glance. One is I could export a CSV of my candidates. I could also export their documents, meaning their resume and cover letter. I can also exclude certain students that don't match my criteria. When I set up the job, I put in job preferences. And if I wanted to exclude students who weren't the major that I, were look, I was looking for, the graduation date, I could quite easily select one of these and filter down on excluding students that aren't matching that criteria. Now, I can put in, I can see my different applicants here. I can see the status of their application, whether it's been reviewed, whether they've been hired, whether they are pending, or whether they're declined. I can also click into the individuals themselves. So I, if I clicked into Bob Henry here, I can see the job that he's applied to, the number of preferences that he meets, their work experience, any extracurriculars, and these would all be things from that student's profile page. From here, I'm gonna be able to click this person into pending, declined, or hired. I can also take notes on this candidate. So for example, my colleague Molly put a note in here a few months ago that this person was interested in positions in Florida. I can share these notes with staff or make them personal notes. So again, I'm able to track and move candidates forward using Handshake. I can also direct applicants to my applicant tracking system and manage all my applications from a singular source from there. So in this video, we covered how employers are able to see their applicants and how they're able to meet their preferences, see their preferences, as well as review them and put them into different categories.